how to create a quiz in Microsoft Forms. So first, what you want to do is, is just simply go to the Microsoft website right here. And once you're here, just go click on quiz here on the form section. So click on quiz. And it will bring you to this page where you could change the title. So let's say I'm going to pick the title science quiz. Now after that, you could also put a form description if you want. But for me, I'm just going to go out and start with the choices and the, or the questions. And here you could pick different types of questions and tests. So you could go with multiple choice, with the text, with ratings, something like that. And for me, I'm going to go with choice. So I'm going to make a multiple choice quiz. So simply click on choice. And here we'll put the question that you want. So I have already a question ready here. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to paste it. Also, I have the answers. So I'm just going to paste it also. I'm going to do four choices just like that. Just simply click on the plus add option so that you could add more options. And to click on the correct answer or to pick the correct answer, you just simply need to click on the check mark right there besides the answers. So the answer right here is Mercury. And if you have a question that requires two answers or two correct answers, you just simply need to click on the other one right here. Make sure that multiple answers is checked out since if you click on another answer, it won't select the other one or the first one. So click on multiple answers, then select the other answer that you want or that is the correct one. Now, once that's done, you could either add new questions if you want. So you could do this as many times as you want. For me, I'm done. And I'm just going to simply go to settings right here where you will see the options for the quiz. It could either be on practice mode and you could also set the show results automatically. And here are the options for responses. You could do the start date and end date so that the deadline and stuff. But I'm just going to set that out. And also you need to accept responses so that basic recipients can access this form. And if it's not checked out, the recipients aren't able to fill out a submit this form. So make sure that that is checked out. And you could also set a time duration. So let's say 30 minutes or 60 minutes, which is basically an hour. I'm going to set this to 60 minutes. And you could also shuffle the questions if you have many questions. And you could also disable question number for respondents and show a progress bar. Get email notification of each response so that you could get notifications if someone or let's say a student have answered it already and you'll get a notification on your email. And next is hide submit another response, customize a thank you message, and allow responders to save their responses. You could check or uncheck that if you don't want them to save their form or their quiz. Now, once that's done, you could now just simply click on collect responses. And once you're here, you could now share the link for this particular quiz. To do that, you simply need to copy the link or you could share the QR code. You could embed it. You could share it to Facebook or you could share it to X. And you could also email it to someone if you want. Then just simply click on send right here. And once that's done, if you want to view the responses, you simply need to go back to the form right here or to the quiz and click on view responses here at the top right. And you will see the responses, the average score, and the average time that it took to answer that particular quiz. And that is basically it.